this, this is the mark over here? The mark's over here. There we go. Oh, God. Thank you. So, uh, man, I was freaking out. I had to follow. I thought I had to follow you, DJ. Oof. <laughs> Woo. All right. I'm supposed to go to this camera. Board. There we are. All right. I got to follow. I got to follow my wife. I. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, this is a huge honor to, to give a toast. Uh, all of late nights here. What's up, Oliver? What's happening? Um, I'm, I'm really, I, I, uh, I, I feel really privileged to be here. It, it's uh, unbelievable. The fact that I made the list, uh, the sixth most popular correspondent on The Daily Show is truly. <laughs> uh, for those, those of you guys who don't know, I, I was a correspondent on The Daily Show on Comedy Central. I know some of you guys are like, what is Comedy Central? Um, it's basically an internship for Netflix. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I have a Netflix show. Just plugging it, just a little quick little humble brag. Yeah, I have a Netflix show. I know why I'm here. We did an episode on Saudi Arabia. Uh, if anyone from the kingdom's here, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, yeah, after the, the murder of uh, Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi, I came in, I had a super hot take. I was like, murder's bad. And then um, the kingdom didn't like it. They pulled the episode. They banned me from the Mecca, not uh, Madison Square Garden. There's a place called The Mecca. We go around and say, most salon, no, you, you know what it is. So I can't do that anymore. And um, yeah, I, I want to toast tonight uh, because people uh, have sometimes come up to me and given me a lot of credit that I don't deserve. They're just like, man, what you did, that was the bravest thing ever. As long as you don't die, this is the best thing that could have ever happened to your career. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I, I don't want to be the Tupac of comedy. I want to live to see these retweets. But I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky that I get to be here in America and I can make jokes about very powerful leaders. And, and I have the safety of being here in America. We have a lot of incredible rights here in America and safeties that we take for granted oftentimes. Um, and there are people on the front lines that cannot be here, uh, like Lujan al Hotal, who is a Saudi activist who helped fight to lift the women's driving ban. And she is currently in prison. She cannot be with us here tonight. She has been tortured. And a lot of times as comedians, we get a lot of credit. People come up to us and they go, thank you so much for pointing a light on that issue. But that's all we're doing, we're pointing. And I just wanna say thank you to Lujan for being the light. Um, this, is a very, this is a very powerful room. And you know, I know there's a lot of very powerful people here. And it'd be crazy if, I don't know, if there was just like a, I don't know, like if there was like a high-ranking official in the White House that could WhatsApp MBS and, and say, hey, maybe you could help that person get out of prison because they don't deserve it. But that'd be crazy. That'd be, I mean, that person would have to be in the room, but it's just a good comedy premise. Thank you guys so much. Good night.